Hi guys, this is Lois from My Natural Aspirations and I had said that I would be doing more um, videos since I spent a long time since I was able to do any and, and so here I am uh, today. I uh, shared uh, a few things with you about myself and what I've been doing uh, since you lost, last saw me. I think I did a, a video maybe a couple of weeks ago so that you saw a five day uh, twist out. So this is another twist out. This is a three day twist out. Um, I did this three days ago. Uh, four days ago I washed my hair and three days I took it took out down the, the twist and so this is the this is the uh, actually three days of twisted out twist out hair. However you say it, <laughs> you know what I mean. At any rate, um, so I'm kind of pleased with it. I think it looks still looks pretty good. Uh, though I haven't really been outside that much in the last few days, it's uh, as I told you before, it rains uh, a lot here, way more than it did in Texas, and uh, so and it's a lot more humid here than it was in Texas. So uh, it's very very hot, <laughs> but it's not hot like Texas hot, which is a kind of a dry hot. It's a very humid hot. So when I go out to walk the dogs at seven o'clock in the morning by the time I get home I have to take out all my clothes take a shower or wipe my, my armpits and everything else is pertinent and uh, and put on new clothes because I've sweated through my clothes and I hate that that's the one thing I do not like about Florida I do not like that I have to change clothes entirely too much um, but that is one reason why you see me with these uh, making these I'm making more of these pants here these palazzo pants that I said on my uh, on the other little um, accompanying video that I um, that I'm putting with this uh, because it lets you breathe um, I used to like to wear tights a lot with big shirts over them because they're really easy to put on and you know you feel kind of dressed you can put you know, your heels or your, for me, wedges or uh, espadrilles on with a, with a big shirt and your, and tights and go out and you can either dress up or dress down. However, it's just way too hot here in Florida, in my opinion, to put on tights. So um, I just decided, and I'm not the person who likes my legs enough for me to just have on shorts. Um, because over the years I've developed you know those ugly varicose veins and spider veins not so much spider veins as varicose veins I do not like that um, in the back of my knees and I know a lot of it came from um, the fact that I worked in a job where I wore heels or pumps all the time um, uh, for those of you who may not know what pumps are they were just heels <laughs> Uh, usually around three or four inches high with a uh, closed in toe. Uh, and I worked um, in the legal industry and the particular firm that I worked for liked for you to be dressed, you know, classic, uh, meaning in a, a suit or a jacket and pants or jacket and skirt, you know, and bumps or heels, but not sandals. <clears throat> And anyway, and I did that for years and years and years, uh, and um, adding weight to that is just as hard on your legs, and so you develop varicose veins, um, probably for many other reasons too. Uh, but at any rate, it's not a pretty sight, so I don't really like showing my legs that much. Not that I have bad legs; it's just that who wants to see varicose veins? Um, at any rate, I digress. Uh, so. I have been doing a lot of sewing and making a lot of these palazzo pants that I really like. Um, the other thing that I was going to talk about, there's so much that I want to talk to you guys about uh, and I just can't seem to contain it all. But one thing that I wanted to ask you all about because uh, I've heard this in various forms from various sources. Uh, but one of them was a repeat of a Wendy Williams show today and her question was,
do you think that people people over 50 are too old to be utilizing um, the multimedia sites uh, uh, social network sites more more than anything else um, that was her question of course she said yes for the most part she felt that was true now she just turned 50 uh, last month in July uh, but her vision of people over 50 for the most part is um, in my opinion pretty sad however of course I'm gonna say that I'm over 50 <laughs> so I need your input I need to know and I want to know what you think um, because I have my take on it and uh, I have a lot to say of course I would um, but I really 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 want to know what you think because I've noticed that there are several of us quite a few of us way more than I thought that there would be who are here on YouTube and we're over 50 and we have viable and uh, quality information and viable things to say um, so what do you think please uh, give me your opinion write it in the comments below and uh, let's see what we can do to make a difference in how people think if, if at all, or even if it's necessary. It may not even be necessary. However, I do believe that social media is here to stay for a long time. And uh, people don't write letters anymore. They don't uh, call on the telephone that much anymore. You, you have more people texting than calling on the telephone. I get more telephone calls from solicitors. Who knew? How did they even get my phone number, my cell phone number? And there are no more landlines, very few landlines left. So I just want to know, how do you think, or where do you think, or what do you think should be the proper mode of communication for people over 50 if they're not supposed to be on social media sites? Um, anyway, that's all I'm going to say for now. Uh, enjoy talking to you guys, uh, and I'll come back to you again real soon. I'm still working on these um, creases in my face and these wrinkles. I, you know, I know that these things are not going to go away, but I do really want to know how to soften them if you have any idea. I'm doing a little bit better with these uh, bags under my eyes, and I know what this comes from. This comes from not getting any sleep. Uh, as I told you before, normally I go to sleep around 2 or 3 o'clock. In the morning, sometimes, like if I'm, I have a project that I'm working on, I'm up to six. Uh, I go to bed at six, and then I'm back up again at eight, eight thirty, nine o'clock. So uh, I know that's where these are from, and uh, I'm going to do better about getting more sleep. Um, but right now, I haven't. <laughs> uh, but that's not true. I've done a little bit better, but not a lot better. <laughs> but I'm going to work on it. Uh, I have been working on my diet and we'll talk about that and and I've done several things that I wanted to post uh, videos that I wanted to make but uh, as you know I'm not happy with the quality of videos that I make because I just have not had taken the time to learn how to do a better job of editing and all that kind of good stuff and uh, when my really good computer died and my camera my great camera very expensive camera and my camera equipment got lost uh, on the move from from Texas to here to Florida it just kind of discouraged, discouraged me and so I just stopped even making an effort but I'm gonna get back to making an effort and even if it takes time for me to uh, do better with making videos and to purchase more quality equipment eventually I, I will so just stick with me be patient with me and uh, know that I really love the site. Uh, I love uh, communicating through YouTube with YouTube. There's so many YouTubers that I learn from, even at my age, all the time. Like for instance, who would have thought that at my age I would be doing my hair natural again? Who would have thought it? You know. And I'm better off for it. I mean, my hair is healthier than it's been in a long time. 
and uh, even though it's, it's it's more effort than um, I would have thought it would be just having natural hair um, it's worth it it's worth it um, and uh, as you know I did some cutting and that's okay because I much rather for my hair to look like this and look relatively healthy except for putting color in it but you know that's I uh, just I'm gonna add it to color so I will probably be coloring it for a while um, uh, but uh, I don't know uh, I don't know about what I think about what people have to say about people over 50 uh, using social media sites because I for one uh, have a thumbs up at least for YouTube the other sites uh, I don't know so much yet um, but anyway I want to know your thoughts so as always stay safe stay healthy and be positive until next time bye bye